Hey guys, um, I know I haven't been doing a video lately. I've been doing more like short clips, putting on Instagram, Facebook, stuff like that. But I thought we'd talk about some serious stuff. And, um, you know, me as an advocate and a social worker and doing the work that I do, mind you, I do all of my work for free. I don't get paid. I don't have insurance. Uh, I don't have anything to help me out um, when it comes specifically to my work and what I do in the community. And here I am trying to be, you know, uh, a good citizen and, and uh, self-quarantine myself and self-isolation, you know, in this small room, actually. Uh, <laughs> and, um, you know, it's boring, it sucks, but I know the importance of staying home and doing my part in protecting the island from the spread of COVID-19. You know, there's a lot of uh, media and coverage about, like, what's going on in the community and like, you know, the, the whole thing with um, the Theodore Roosevelt and them bringing in sailors and stuff. And, you know, me having a military background, working in the, those things. <clears throat> Even transitioning, you know, my work into more, you know, media uh, stuff. Uh, promoting, you know, better ways to do things. How to keep yourself safe and your family. Um, things to, you know, combat boredom <laughs> but always talking about being safe and talking about the seriousness of you know the virus and you know it's interesting because I don't think a lot of people watch the news or are keeping up with this they just hear you know bits and pieces from here and there but hey this stuff is serious all right they're already talking about how you're going to be dying and how you're not going to be able to see your loved ones when when they pass and to like start writing a will and what you want done with your body and you know, what you're going to be doing, being thoughtful of what to do after um, for your end of life. And, you know, people aren't really taking this seriously. I see people all over social media, um, you know, doing, you know, things outside, like they're self-isolating, they're social distancing, but they're still going out. And if we're not paying attention to the news, there's droplets that are out there. You know, it could, you know, be out in the air for you know, hours in, in some cases. And do you really want to risk it like that? At the same time, you're not going to see the, um, the effects of the virus for another week. You can't even get tested until you've, you know, been in that area for, you know, a week. And we don't have the resources and services to treat, you know, a right high rate of, you know, individuals that are suffering from COVID-19. And, you know, it's the byproducts of having it. And it's, it's concerning, and it's really concerning because things are still happening. We're about to go on complete lockdown and have checkpoints and stuff all over the island here on Guam, and people are still going out. Like, I live near a main road, and I see people driving all the time, and it's like, where are you going? Like, you know, stay indoors, like, you know, manage your food uh, resources and stuff like that. Just... You know, spend time with your family if you're by yourself. And I know a lot of people are like, get on Zoom, get on Facebook or whatever. Keep, you know, updated on everything. And, you know, instead of watching TikTok all the time, because I know everybody's doing it. Like, you know, I see it all the time and I just ignore it. Like, that's not important right now. What's important is to keep up with the virus, to see how it's spreading, to see, like, what are the things that we could do to, to prevent the spread and understand the virus. Because the virus is fairly new. They're still finding out things that they didn't know. Holy cow, nobody thought kids would get it. And we have a bunch of kids out here that have COVID-19. Like, hello, people, wake up. Like, you're having fun going out to the beach and everything like that. Or, you know, going to the store and making, you know, fun of it. You know, in some cases, I've seen pictures of, like, you know, everybody's masked up and you have a family that's masked up, the mom and dad, and the kid doesn't even have a mask. Like, what were you thinking, you selfish fool? Come on, like, let's be smart about this. Like, it's only going to get worse, and we haven't even hit the peak yet. And we're, we're probably not going to see change or anything for months. This, this thing, you know, they say, you know, they're extending uh, the state of, uh, you know, uh, the state of emergency until, you know, May 5th. That's, that's a while from now. And let me tell you, I've been home doing, being productive. Like, I'm a very productive person. I, I always have stuff to do. But I've been home and haven't really been anywhere um, for like three and a half weeks now. I'm okay, I'm fine. What really like bothers me is watching other people, you know, not practicing, not being a good citizen, not 
you know, staying home and, you know, <sighs> contributing to this. You know, I have friends and doctors, nurses that are affected by this. Some of them actually have it and they're trying to do their best to, to protect people that have it. To, you know, the transmission rates are just ridiculous, especially back in the States. And, you know, man, I'm, I'm trying to support them as much as I can. You know, I've extended, you know, me uh, doing counseling to, to nurses and doctors. Like, hey, I'm a human being. I know you need to talk to somebody. I know, like, the system that you have in place may not be working for you. There may be a lot of stressors and, like, you just need to talk to somebody. And we can do that as human beings. Like, be there for other people. And it doesn't have to be physically. It could be like this. We're talking right now. You're probably listening to my rant or whatever. But, you know we're doing our best to control this uh, pandemic. <clears throat> and what really made me want to do this video is I just got pictures of a bunch of police officers gambling together. And it's just like, are you serious? You're, you're, you're the people that are supposed to be, you know, enforcing this kind of stuff. And, you know, the role model for us to, you know, control, you know, what we can't control and, you know, enforce what we can't enforce because we're home and in case there's emergencies you're there to kind of be that mediator and what the f are you guys doing like it pisses me off like yeah I've, I've hit the point where like are you serious <laughs> like come on guys we can do better you know there there's there's a bunch of positivity stuff that's going out there like you know restaurants feeding the homeless and all this other stuff you know i've been trying to be a part of that there's a huge initiative for a bunch of people to make masks for other people and the community and everything. And then like, I have, you know, friends that work at Home Depot that are saying like, what are you doing here? Like, this is a great time to be home and do home improvements, but you're not practicing social distancing and isolation and stuff because you're out at Home Depot grabbing a bunch of stuff that's technically irrelevant, that doesn't help your quality of life. It just helps your boredom and like keeping you busy, which is good, but you guys are being in an area and you may not know it until like a week later and then you're wondering like, how did I get this? Like, we can't pay, play the ignorant thing. Stay home. The news has been saying it. The governor's been saying it. Like, you know, people in, you know, um, positions of authority have been saying it. Why aren't we doing it? Come on, guys. Like, it's not just wearing a mask and social distancing. It's like protecting yourself so you don't spread the virus. It's not you... It, you know, we, we're not wearing masks so we don't get infected. We're wearing masks so we, in case we have it, we don't transmit it to somebody. Like, that's the whole reason. And then we're not even thinking about, like, the droplets. So, like, you know, I come from a different background. I know how biological, you know, um, components work and everything, especially when it comes to, you know, the spread of something. And, like, the droplets or spores or whatever you want to call it, like, it's still in the air and it's still travels in the hair if it's not you know if it if it's light in nature which it is you know it could stay in the air for you know 20 minutes 30 minutes an hour depending on like the situation the airflow or whatever but it's still there and we have to understand that and we have pathways which we could you know get the 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 virus which is your eyes your nose your mouth any open wounds you know we have to think about that stuff even your hair like it's there you're not thinking about you wore your mask and everything people cough on it you have like spores and like droplets in your hair and then all of a sudden like mm, i'm sick i'm wondering why well come on guys we can't use ignorance uh you know that long we have to be prepared washing your hands huge things how we wash our hands it's not straight in the water just do this and we're, we're, we're done because it smells good like we're washing our hands just in case we touch something you know when you go to the store and everything and you know be to, to buy food and there's nothing wrong with that you know people are limited in resources they have you know, they don't have enough money to buy a month's supply of food. So they have to go like, you know, whenever and then start budgeting and really look at things. But when you go there, you have to understand, you have to treat everybody as they were infected. Even things that you touch that are not in your immediate area. If you disinfect your house and whatever, and you know, that's groovy. But when you're going to the store and you're picking up items, you have to treat those things as if they're contaminated. And if you're not spraying them down when you're, when you're, when you're getting them in and, or, or like cooking them properly, then... <laughs> It's just as bad, you know, it's as easy as like filling up a bucket with like a cap full of, of bleach and then dunking everything you buy and just putting it in the sun for like, you know, 10 minutes and then consuming uh, whatever products that you have. But you're doing whatever is necessary 
to make sure that you don't spread the virus or you don't contract the virus yourself. So like, hey guys, I'll share some of these pictures so you could be more like aware of like what's happening. And you know, if you have any questions or you don't understand what is happening around the world or here locally, when it comes to, you know, the pandemic of COVID-19, like by all means ask, I, I, you know, I'm here to share information. Like I'm a big researcher in this stuff. You know, I, I'm trying to do my best to educate people and make sure that they're living the best life that they can be, but still being mindful of like the pandemic that we're living in. Like, man, I've lived through a bunch of different situations where it's super high risk. And, you know, one thing that you really appreciate is life. And we're not seeing that many deaths yet. But when we do, people are going to be like, oh, man, I should totally do this. We can prevent that right now by taking this seriously and preventing the loss of life and coming together as one people, not black, white, whatever. I mean, as one people, as human beings coming together and trying to survive this this pandemic. Because let me tell you guys, like, it's only getting worse and we're seeing it. Like we may talk about like fractions of numbers, but when those fractions of numbers turn into your family members, it's not gonna be funny anymore. And we should all take this seriously. You, your loved ones, your children, your, your grandparents, your parents, your uncles, your aunts, like every person's life is worth saving. Let's do our part. Stay home, <laughs> like <laughs> embrace the boredom. And I'm telling you, this will be a great story later down the road when we come together and we make a difference and impact our community in a positive way by staying home, washing your hands, and doing your best to prevent the transmission of COVID-19. Thanks for listening, guys. Hit me up. Like, subscribe. I really don't care anymore, but I'll be here um, for everybody else and doing my part in trying to help my community. Thanks, guys. Ray Shinohara here. See you later.